Hi, my name is Steven, and today I'm gonna design a wireless phone charger in GW3D. I've been using this wireless phone charger for years now, and this thing was always in my desk. So let's go ahead and design this thing. To design something like this, the accurate measurement is essential. So uh, let's begin the sketching. So this is a size that I measured earlier. So based on this size, we will uh, do the sketch. So to do the sketch, we have to use the polyline function first. When you use the polyline function, make sure there's no constraints except for the right angles. And then we're going to use the quick dimension function to type in the right size. After you're done, you press the exit button to escape from the sketch environment. We're going to use the extrude function to make it 3D shape. We're going to use the symmetrical to put the origin in the center line. So the size was like 69 millimeters. So we're going to put the 34.5, which is the half of it. And you can see the upper part of this product, it seems like a part of a circle. So we're gonna draw this thing first. When you enter the sketch, you use the point function and make sure there is a three points, which is for the circle. The size points are five millimeters lower than the center line. So we're gonna use the quick dimension to add a size. After it's done, you click the circle function and do the sketch. And this time we're gonna use the extrude function again, but we're gonna use the intersection function here. So those parts which is not intersected will be disappeared. So bottom part has a similar arc like the upper parts, we, we're gonna make this part. And if you look at this part, uh, this is different between the upper parts since we can see some upper parts from here. So it means we do the intersection, it will make the upper part disappear. So in this case, we're gonna use the remove function. We're gonna draw a part that we want to remove it. We're gonna draw the circle like before, and this time we have to use the polyline line to draw exact size. Click the extrude function and click the option as remove. And if you enter the endpoint too long, it will cut the upper part. So you have to type in the size which is not too big and not too small. After that, we're gonna make a support part of the cell phone. We're gonna draw a sketch as well and do extrude. And this extrude part also looks like a part of the circle. So we do the same. And the basic shape of the 3D is already done and we have to add some details on it. There's a huge fillet back of the wireless phone charger. And after that, we're gonna use the chamfer function to do the edges. And since the edges has the angle, the chamfer function will help us do this. And after it's done, the basic shape of the wireless phone charger is done. It looks quite similar, even compared to the real object. But since we still have the sharp edges and the real one already has smooth surface and we're gonna use the fillet function to make it smooth. When you do some chamfer or fillet or those, those kinds of function, you have to click every edges. But if you hold down the shift key, the continuous line will be selected at once.
so make sure you have filled all the edges and after you're done we're gonna change the color this time so the wireless phone charger is dark gray and i'm gonna choose something like gray this time i think it looks quite similar and that's it for this video today i designed a wireless phone charger in jtw 3d if you make a real object to a 3d we call this a reverse engineering if you do the reverse engineering there will be a lots of problems to pop up so in next video we will show you how to deal with those problems when you do the reverse engineering and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and if you have any problems please write a comment thank you